Every blur kind of glad I survive. Chris Carthurn with Cosplay Alliance. I'm here live from BlurCon with Kurt from HNIC. Head nerds in charge. What's going on, brother? I'm trying to recuperate my life. Every blur con, I'm glad I survived. <laughs> this is my first blur con, and I barely survived. Did you tell have you, fun, though? I had an amazing time. It was a ball, wasn't yeah, it? You can hear it in my voice right now, or lack thereof. It should be a little bit raspy with a hint of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so, H HNIC, why did you start it? Well, honestly, like you start anything, it, it, it wasn't supposed to be what it became. It just was a bunch of my friends saying, hey, we want to talk about nerd stuff and maybe let's start a podcast. And from that, it just grew and evolved into bringing in this eclectic group of amazing creatives. And it kept building and compounding on each other. And it ultimately evolved into what our credo is, our mission statement, the proliferation and promotion of dope black and POC creatives. So we grew a platform. We didn't want to keep it to ourselves. So we said, okay, how do we share this with other people who are trying to build and grow and had a hard time like us? And BlurCon, why is this necessary for people like us? And this is that that's a very charged question because one thing that we don't do, we don't shy away from drama. If you're in the community, everybody knows the drama that sometimes surrounds BlurCon. Whether you like it, don't like it, support it, don't support it. We will be at BlurCon every year hands down why because blur con transcends organizers it's about the community we have earmarked this as our black nerd mecca you got to make the pilgrimage you just have to and it's not you have to because you want to support the institution itself but this is where we recharge this is where you come and you see your friends and you can feel the love community and you can feel like you can be you without judgment and with full acceptance this was the way i can put it the best way i can put it is it was like a family reunion it's like a family reunion you're with your peoples uh you posted a video i don't think within the last week uh, as a kid singing peaches at a school that's not something I think I would have ever seen growing up, but to see that now and everybody's like supporting and he was cool. Like we're at a point right now where it's just cool to be a blur. So, and I, and I love that because one, when the underground thing becomes mainstream, it can be perverted. One of the reasons why I love that video is because it is truly black boy joy. Little man, full cosplay singing his heart out and the entire school showed him love for it purest one he didn't do it for views he didn't even know he was being recorded at the time you know what i mean that was somebody's parent or whatever he just did it because he loved it that was his fandom that that is what his fandom is and we all have it we all have a fandom we have a fandom that we love so much that it becomes a part of our personality it molds us like for me i'm a huge captain america fan which is crazy because i'm so pro-black but Captain America instilled literal moral codes within me because that was my hero growing up. So now he got a love song for whoever he gonna, <laughs> he, he gonna call somebody peaches when he get older, but that's a part of his code now. And when you see how fandom shapes society, that's why superheroes, villains, legends, our mythologies are so, so important because how your mythologies and myths and, and who you look up to goes is how society goes. And HNIC, head nerds in charge. Did it have anything to do with Joe Clark? Ah, every, listen, <laughs> get the chains off the door. When I, that is, who that line in Lean On Me, when he says, you know, you know, despite popular opinion, I am the head nigga in charge. That right there, that speaks to my heart. I love me some Joe Clark, but it's always a, a, a reminder. The loudest motherfucker in the room ain't the most important motherfucker in the room. And that is something that we always have to be cognizant of when we're in these spaces and places. And head nurse in charge, we wanted a play on words 
that would catch your attention, but also we are redefining what it means to be a nerd and be a black nerd. I love the term blurred. I use it willfully, but we wanted something different to set us apart from everybody else. Oh, I appreciate you for taking some time to sit down with me after a long weekend. Tell everybody where we can follow you at, just in case you're not. And if you're not, you're going to hit that subscribe button. You're going to hit that follow button. Hey, Nerds in Charge. Literally, Google us. We will come up on all platforms or just go to headnerdsincharge.com and pull up on us. Trust me, you'll love it here. When I say he's hilarious, I'm not lying. He's hilarious. You're going to love the content. Good game. Appreciate you, man. No problem, Chris.